guys welcome to my channel docmet school today's topic is anterior axio appendicular muscles these muscles are also called as thoraco appendicular or pectoral muscles these muscles are present on the anterior surface of the body which uh, consists of four muscles there are actually four muscles in it and uh, they are pectoralis major pectoralis minor and uh, subclavius and uh, serratus anterior these muscles they actually uh, connect appendicular skeleton to axial skeleton that's why the name is mostly axio over here and appendicular over here they actually connect the axial skeleton to the appendicular skeleton and uh, there are actually four muscles there are pectoralis major pectoralis minor subclavius serratus anterior we'll look in to these muscles soon you know now let's look into the pectoralis major muscle pectoralis major pectoralis major by the name it indicates it's a major means it's a big one a uh, big muscle and uh, pectoralis uh, indicates it's in the pectoral region it's on the th um, just below the neck pectoral region pectoralis major is a fan shaped muscle a big huge fan shaped muscle uh, which covers the superior part of the thorax it has two heads it has two heads one is called clavicular head and sternocostal head out of it this is the big one or uh, larger much larger compared to this one cl clavicular head this is small these there are two heads this is clavicular head and sternocostal head and uh, sternocostal is the bigger one compared to the clavicular head and uh, the clavicular head arises from the medial two third of the anterior surface of the clavicle and the sternocostal head arises from the upper six uh, costal cartilages of the ribs and uh, the upper neurosis of the external oblique muscles and uh, so the upper border uh, the adjacent muscles that is the deltoid muscle which is uh, adjacent to the pectoralis uh, major muscle the lower border of the like the border of the deltoid muscle and the upper border of the pectoralis major muscle and the clavicle form a groove a triangular groove called as delta pectoral groove or uh, clavi pectoral triangle that is formed mainly by the de uh, deltoid mu muscle and uh, pectoralis major and uh, the clavicle now let's uh, see what are the major actions that is uh, performed by pectoralis major the uh, pectoralis major mainly produces uh, powerful adduction of the arm and medial rotation of the humerus uh, when like when the both heads are acting together the uh, mainly the clavicular head uh, helps in the powerful adduction of the arm and the sternocostal head helps in the extension of the adducted arm afterwards and uh, so for the testing of the pectoralis major whether uh, like is uh, for the uh, to identify in a person the to test the clavicular head of the pectoralis major let's see the clavicular head first to test the clavicular head of the pectoralis major the arm is abducted uh, to 90 degree which 90 degree has to be made by the uh, arm with the thorax and uh, it is moved forward the arm has to, supposed to be moved forward against the resistance applied by anything and uh, then you can actually observe uh, the upper head of the uh, the clavicular head of the pectoralis major and for the to test the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major the arm is abducted 60 degree with respect to thorax and uh, then adducted against resistance the adduction has to be done against resistance for uh, the identification of sternocostal head of the pectoralis major and uh, then let's take a, uh, a big uh, summary of the let's take a summary of the pectoralis major muscle 
Pectoralis major muscle mainly arises from the clavicular head, anterior surface of the medial half of the clavicle, and the sternocostal head arises from the anterior surface of the sternum, superior six costal cartilages, and aponeurosis of the external oblique muscles. Now let's uh, see about the distal attachments. Oh, there is one more thing: the proximal attachments and distal attachments. Uh, the distal attachment of the pectoralis major is the lateral lip of intertubercular sulcus of humerus. It goes into the inserts into the intertubercular sulcus of humerus, lateral lip of the intertubercular uh, sulcus of humerus. In the innervations, the nerve supply to this muscle is lateral and medial pectoral nerves. So the lateral pectoral nerve supplies to the clavicular head and this lateral pectoral nerve lateral pectoral nerve it actually gives supply to clavicular head of the pectoralis major and this arises from c5 and c6 vertebrae the branches or the 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 they are derived from the f fifth and sixth vertebrae, or cervical segments, and uh, the sternocostal head is supplied by the medial pectoral nerve. Medial pectoral nerve, which is uh, coming derived from seventh C seven C eight and T one. That is C. Uh, seventh uh, cervical vertebra, eighth cervical vertebra, and uh, first thoracic vertebra. And uh, the main action of the pectoralis major, it has, that is, it helps in adduction and medially rotation of the humerus, draws scapula anterior and inferiorly. Acting alone, clavicular head flexes humerus and sternocostal head extends it from the flexed position. Well, that it, we'll see it in um, the picture that is uh, about to come soon here we are with the pectoralis major muscle picture and uh, as you can see the origin is from the clavicular head as well and uh, from the sternocostal head as well and through the upper of the external oblique muscle and uh, these are the three origins or places from which it origins and this is what I was talking about, the clavicular head. This, this is the major, it's like you can actually differentiate it between these two. And this is the sternocostal part. The lateral border of the, um, the lateral border of the pectoralis major muscle, not of the sternocostal head, part of the pectoralis major, but the lateral part of the pectoralis major muscle forms the anterior axillary wall or anterior wall of the axilla and uh, as you can see here the fire this is what i was talking about origin and uh, next about insertion insertion is in the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus of humerus you can see the uh, greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle and the greater tubercle both over here and um, intertubercular sulcus and the lateral lip the insertion being made into the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus of humerus and the uh, innovations as told the lateral and medial pectoral nerves and uh, yeah after seeing pectoralis major muscle let's talk about pectoralis minor muscle so pectoralis minus pectoralis minor muscle lies in the anterior wall of the axilla which is formed by the lateral border of the pectoralis major muscle and uh, it is actually present underneath the pectoralis major muscle during dissection it is easily visible when you reflect the pectoralis major muscle the pectoralis minor muscle is found just underneath the pectoralis major and uh, its origin is from the third to the fifth ribs third to the fifth ribs near the in the near the coastal cartilages of the third to fifth ribs and uh, its insertion is in the medial border of the coracoid process of the scapula and uh, the muscle is triangular in shape it has its proxy base and the base is uh, from third to the fifth rib and the apex at the 
middle border of the coracoid process of the scapula and uh, the pectoralis minor stabilizes the scapula the main function of this is it stabilizes scapula stabilizes scapula and uh, is used uh, to and is used to like get the to touch an object which is just out of reach to touch an objects which are just out of reach to touch objects which are just out of reach out of reach and uh, this is uh, muscle is uh, this it also assists in elevating the ribs for deep inspiration when the pectoral girdle is fixed or elevated the pectoralis minor muscle is useful anatomical and surgical landmark for structures in the axilla it's like for uh, finding out axillary artery or axillary vein and uh, many other uh, cords of the brachial plexus it is a uh, important landmark important landmark in the dissection so better try to keep this uh, pectoralis minor intact during the dissection so that you can actually appreciate the axillary artery and axillary vein and many other and many other uh, cords of the brachial plexus which uh, pass through the this landmark uh, th through underneath some passes through underneath of it and mostly most of them pass underneath it and uh, you can actually use it as a good landmark now let's have a summary of this and summary is uh, we'll speak about the origin and uh, insertion and nerve supply and uh, main actions so pectoralis minor the origin is from third to fifth ribs near their coastal cartilages and uh, their insertion is at the medial border and superior surface of the coracoid process of scapula and uh, they're actually they are nerve the nerve supply or the innervations is uh, by the medial pectoral nerve medial pectoral nerve that is c8 and t1 okay c8 and t1 roots not roots they are actually the vertebrae through which the medial pectoral nerve is actually coming or through which the medial pectoral nerve is actually derived from and uh, the main action of the pectoralis minor is that it stabilizes scapula by drawing it by drawing it inferiorly and anteriorly against the thoracic wall okay the the main action is like it's uh, by drawing it inferiorly drawing it inferiorly this is the most important line inferiorly and uh, anteriorly against thoracic wall thoracic wall so let's see it in the picture over here as you can see the pectoralis minor muscle here the origin is uh, from the third fourth and fifth rib near the coastal cartilages and uh, this is the first second third rib and uh, from the third fourth fifth ribs coastal cartilages the origin of the pectoralis minor muscle is seen and it goes up till the coracoid process the medial border of the coracoid process of the scapula which is projecting here part of this video will be out soon subscribe to see it first like share and comment as well